Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome. Uh, it's uh, exactly 100 days today to the start of the NatWest Island Games here in Bermuda. And uh, I'm delighted to be here. Uh, I'm Paul Scope. I'm a co-opted member on the International Island Games Association and a member of the Bermuda Island Games Association. I, I stand here before you sadly because Mr. John Beard, the chairman of the Bermuda Island Games Association, is uh, at his father's funeral in the UK. Um, it was uh, not unexpected, but nevertheless, as we all know, it's, it's never easy to um, uh, lose a parent or a loved one. Um, so uh, our thoughts are with uh, John today. And uh, that's a, a segue into the reason we're here and having this uh, momentous event coming to Bermuda in July is mainly because of John Beard's uh, vision. Um, he found out about this uh, NatWest Island Games uh, event uh, that was really uh, the genesis was in the UK um, from the Isle of Man and, and similar islands and some of the Scandinavian islands like Orland have been involved since the beginning. And it was really meant to give uh, populations of small islands an opportunity to compete in games that they wouldn't uh, necessarily be able to compete against similar size islands and maybe similar standards of athletes. But as you probably already know, there's been many great athletes in these, uh, these particular games, but for Bermuda, it was a natural fit. And so uh, just about over a decade ago, John um, approached the Island Game, International Island Games Association to see if Bermuda could be um, considered as a member. And right from the beginning, it was indicated to us that we would be favorably received if we were prepared to host the games at some point in the future. So now a decade later, a short decade, we're going to be here in 100 days' time um, opening the games uh, to, uh, to the Bermuda population and, and almost 2,000 visitors. If we count the Bermuda team, we're going to have around about 2,000 athletes, coaches, VIPs, etc. So a really big event, uh, if not the biggest sporting event ever to be compiled in Bermuda. One of the things we should be comfortable about is all of our uh, sports governing bodies, and we have 14 sports that we're putting on at 15 venues around the island, are people that are very capable of putting on these sort of size events. If you break it down to the individual sports, and the director of the games, Chuck Milligan, will go into more detail later, uh, we've, we've actually put on events. The, you know, uh, the Carifta Games being a great example of similar size or even bigger events so we have every confidence that our national sports governing bodies are going to put on great events. The challenge, of course, is to put them all on at the same time. And we're going to have seven, eight days, if we count the opening and closing ceremonies, of great sporting uh, uh, festivities and ancillary events along with it. So it's going to be a great time in Bermuda. I'm really looking forward to it. And um, I uh, just wanted to mention uh, my personal involvement in the games came around, as most of you know, I'm a football man first and foremost, and I went to the Shetland Games as a football coach. I was the women's coach at the time, or had been involved with the women's team, and I wanted also to see if we were going to put our men's team in. And I just got uh, captured by the, uh, the event. I started going around to the golf because I was interested in golf, and I ended up going around to every single event, and I was hooked. And uh, from that day on, I, I became, came back and from Shetlands in 2005, have been involved in every games. And I am privileged enough to be the co-opted member on the International Island Games Association. I've been to wonderful places like Gotland in the Baltic in March, and just recently I was in the Faroe Islands. And uh, if you thought it was cold here in Bermuda the last couple of weeks, you haven't seen cold, I can tell you. But Faroes are gonna be um, the hosts in 2019, as that's certainly the plan. And so it was, they took the opportunity to be there, and they were wonderful hosts. And we, we were entertained by the prime minister, the sports ministers, and the mayor of Torshavn, which is the capital of, um, of Faroes. And, and it was a, a wonderful experience. And on that note, I wanted to introduce uh, our um, minister, uh, whose portfolio includes sport, the Right Honorable R. Wayne Scott, um, JP MP, uh, the Minister of, I've got to read it now because I'm uh, in my notes, <laughs> Minister of Community and Cultural Development. Yeah, got that right. And I would ask Mr. Scott to come and say a few words about the Island Games. I know he has a personal attachment to it. So at that point, I'll step over and ask the Minister to say a few words. Thank you.
Thank you. So, um, I'm delighted to join Mr. Paul Scope, acting chairman of the Bermuda Island Games Association, and Mr. Chuck Milliken, and games director for the 15th NatWest Island Games today. Bermuda is extremely fortunate to have the opportunity to host this event for the first time, and I am pleased that the Island Games will be held here. This is a great opportunity for us. The Bermuda government is a major sponsor for the games, scheduled to be held from July 13th through July 19th. Approximately 1,800 to 2,000 athletes are expected to participate in the Island Games with a Bermuda team of approximately 200. There will be a wide variety of sports events for the public to enjoy, including athletics, badminton, basketball, cycling, football, golf, gymnastics, sailing, sailboarding, target shooting, squash, swimming, tennis, triathlon, indoor volleyball, and beach volleyball. All of the events will be held at designated venues island-wide, including right here at the National Sports Center, Bermuda College, Cedar Bridge Academy, Bermuda High School, Berkeley Institute, MSA, um, William Joel Tennis Stadium, Clearwater, BAA, BFA Field, and others. Warwick Academy, Horseshoe Bay, Warwick Camp, Bermuda Squash, Spanish Point Boat Club. So you can see this is a whole community event. Great deal of planning and associated preparations have already begun to ensure that the games are well facilitated and well organized to bring about successful competitions we all desire. Bermuda's first appearance in the games was 2003 in Guernsey, which I must say I attended and competed in myself. Uh, in the five subsequent biannual games that Bermuda competed in, we have sent over 700 athletes and won more than 100 medals. On behalf of the government, I strongly encourage all of our residents to come out and support our local and overseas athletes. To our athletes, we want you to know that we are very proud of you and anticipate that your performance in these games will be strong. We are confident that you will go for gold and continue the spectacular form that Bermuda demonstrated recently in the recently concluded Carifta Games, which were held in Bahamas and Jamaica, where a trove of medals were achieved by our track and field and swimming teams. So again, I'm very grateful that we are having this opportunity to host these games here, and I'm sure they'll be nothing but successful. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mister. Um, my job as games director has been to organize the sports and work with all the venues and sporting authorities on the island. Uh, we're making great progress. Uh, the minister has mentioned all the sports. He's mentioned all the venues. Um, we, it goes way beyond that as well. One of the main things we're really concerned about is having a legacy for uh, Bermuda athletes in the future that we'll be able to use all those venues uh, with some of the benefits that we have provided for them for the NatWest Island Games. Uh, some of the other areas that we've worked very hard at, uh, particularly Andrew Soares, and that is uh, accommodations, and we wouldn't be where we are today without his, his help, and thank you, Andrew. Um, we have to house, we have 1,800 athletes coming here, we have to house 1,800 athletes, and if you can imagine housing people in July, it's a real challenge. Um, we've come up with the Cedar Bridge Academy and Warwick uh, Academy and Saltis as, as venues to house. But it, um, it's going to work out very well, we think, and along with some of the other hotels and small guest houses, we're going to be able to take care of all that. Our committee has been working very diligently over the last year and a half, um, getting these games ready. Prior to that, certainly, uh, John Beard has worked and been a major force in it, along with Juanita Blee, and they've done a great job in uh, bringing that game to the island. Uh, it's one of those things that I think that we can be very proud of uh, when our team marches in at the opening ceremonies on, uh, at the National Stadium here uh, on the 13th of July. You can be very, very proud of that group. Um, 
I think at this point, I just everything has been said. I, if you have any questions about the venues, the sports, or anything else you need to be uh, answered, please feel free to ask. May I ask about the target shooting? It is. Well, certainly that's one of the areas we've spent a great deal of time in in the last 12 months. Um, the three venues for shooting uh, will be uh, Cooper's Island for some of the pistol and rifle, War Camp for more pistol and rifle, and then the finger at the airport will be used for the shotgun events. Um, we work very dil diligently with the uh, police and the government on getting permits so that these people can bring their stuff to the island, their, their weapons to the island, and that has been very successful. Um, as far as practice locally for our, some of our target shooters in pistol, that probably is not going to be able to be, be happening, but uh, the other events will go on and be quite successful and will be very competitive in our, in our rifle events. Ross Roberts is one of even he's gone on and won a medal in the uh, CAC game, so he's done very well, and we hope that he'll continue and show his his, his skills. Oh yes, in, in every sport, in every one of the venues except pistol, probably. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you all for coming. We appreciate it and look forward to seeing you during the games and uh, enjoying the, the festivities. Uh,